Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We're uh, in our workshop today um, doing an unboxing video. We've got Razor RC as a special guest here. Hey everyone, how you doing? <laughs> so we're going to be doing this unboxing as a collaboration. Got a couple things on the bench here. Uh, you know, uh, of course the, the Pro Fusion SC 4x4 is the highlight here, but we're also going to be uh, using these trencher uh, 2.8 inch <laughs> belted tires these are the new ones that just came out they're belted so that they don't balloon when you're uh, when you're running some fast speeds on these tires so real excited to get these on here um, we've got uh, the the 17 mil uh, millimeter hex adapters cool thing about these trenchers is that you can actually replace the hexes the replaceable hexes so if you strip them or if you want to upgrade to 17 millimeters or the aluminum version ones you can do that and they bolt right in uh, with a 6x30 bolt pattern yeah pretty neat tires uh they just came out what uh, a couple months ago or something like that yeah definitely address a weak point in the basher market so <laughs> right those ballooning tires balloons good for kids parties but not for rc cars pizza cutters <laughs> all right so how do you usually do your unboxings razor <laughs> I, I show off the box you know i i go over with the little details it says uh I always, I don't know, maybe it's just a thing, but I always kind of show where it's made in, like the higher quality stuff's usually made in Taiwan, some of the lower end stuff's made in China. Um, you know, cut the seals and crack it open. Crack this sucker open. So uh, this was definitely designed in the US. Um, I believe it's manufactured, made in Taiwan. Here's the back of the box here. Designed in the US. Yes. Made in Taiwan. Uh, you know, a couple of features here. We'll, we'll just go through this as we unbox this. Uh, you guys can check out all of our videos. Uh, we'll, we'll include a, a video in the link uh, in, in the video description um, to this truck, or all of our videos on this truck. This is it's uh, the uh, Pro SC's little brother, the Pro MT 4x4. So you can check out all of our videos of the entire series on this truck. All right, let's get this open. So while, while you're unboxing, I'm kind of curious what, uh, how did you decide to pick up this truck or, um, yeah, where that, where that the decision from? process. So, um, you know, we've, we've had this for, for quite some time and, uh, the Pro MT that is, and just wanted to step up to a larger chassis mm. and, you know, try out a couple things, you know, um, we uh, we definitely like the longer wheelbase trucks. Uh, if you guys have seen our videos on the ECX um, Ruckus and, and the Slash Monster truck, how do I even get this open? Yeah, that definitely helps with like more power. Um, the longer wheelbase keeps it more stable. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, I guess that's kind of a thing. You know, you got the short wheelbase monster trucks, uh, 10 scale stuff, but then people have been using short course platforms, I guess, now for more power, stability, and still having that monster truck lift. Um, if you're looking for better performance. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, we were curious if we could even get some larger, like 3.8 inch tires on this, mm. uh, making it like, a, you know, a, a true kind of a, um, like a, what do they call it? Like a stunt truck, like the oh, like an outcast, like an RMI thing. outcast, yeah, Big or um, wheels, yeah, a lot of power, yeah, flips and stuff, uh, or like yeah, like a Pro MT, uh, mm. sorry, not the the Techno MT four ten, yeah, um, yeah, is essentially riding on the same chassis as the the uh, the SCT four ten dot three short course truck, um, so here's some of the bags. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bag H. It looks like you know you got the pro line body mounts with the thumb screws, uh, which is nice. Uh, metal uh, servo saver, or sorry, not metal servo mount, and mm -hmm. some battery straps. So, have you ever bought a pro line kit before? Or is this your first one? Uh, yeah. So the Pro MT four x four. That one. Oh, yeah. Actually, that wasn't a kit. So yeah, this one only comes as our um, almost ready to run. Oh, the, right? the pre-built roller. Yeah, this is a pre-built oh, okay. roller. I did. I thought yep. you could get that as a kit too, but I guess. 
the MT is a roller and this one's a, a true build it yourself kit. Huh? Yeah, so yeah, you, you can't get the this as a pre built roller and you yeah, so basically you've yeah, gotta choose between the two almost. Oh, okay. Which is uh, interesting. Yeah, maybe maybe they'll expand that in the future. Um, bag F. Bag F looks like the the skid plates here, so it, it does have a yeah, bigger. Looks like actually the same bumper. Yeah, same. Oh, okay. same doesn't same look like they have a yeah same front and rear bumpers as the the uh, uh, the Pro uh, MT. Yeah, it looks like these these skid plates are also the the same length there. So, if you want to do like a side by side comparison, um, I like how it's like an LCG chassis though. It gets the weight a little bit lower, should handle a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Totally, yeah. Probably need some sort of chassis protector. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like three mil chassis or something? Probably. Yeah, it's pretty thick. I think it's um. Well, we'll, t we'll get yeah, to it we'll real soon there. here. Just the motor mounts and various metal bits uh, included, pinion gear. I'm not sure how many teeth that is. Um, this looks like more of the heart. Ooh, yeah, here are the CV, the CVDs, you know, the drive shafts, some of the bigger metal pieces. Yeah, nice steel CVDs. The outdrives. Interesting. Anything notable to you, Razor? <laughs> uh, I, I heard it's got the Delrin pistons and shock guides and stuff. So um, this looks like the shocks bag, mm -hmm. shock tower, uh, some of the front knuckles. It's got pivot balls, right? Um, pivot balls. Yep. So did they change the inserts? This this one I read it's got the Delrin uh, pivot ball holders or inserts. Yeah, that would be these guys in the white plastic here. A bit yeah. So yeah, Delvin's kind of a self-lubricating plastic, so nice and smooth. Uh, molded pistons, so I have to cut those. But some of the some of the high-end ones have like machine pistons, so they're like perfectly round. Oh wow, the yeah, plastic like yeah, is actually yeah. machined. Yeah, interesting. Delvin, especially, um, that's a good material. We've never had such a high-quality <laughs> kit in our possession here before. I, I think probably just my my Turbo Ultima Two, circa <laughs> nineteen. Uh, <laughs> 1991. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. B6. Yeah, but we we didn't actually assemble that one. We bought that one used. <laughs> uh, here's the shock bag. So it comes with some some 60 weight shock oil. All right. More Delrin. Uh, yeah, it looks like those are the shock internals here. So. Aluminum bodies. Uh, aluminum big springs. Bodies. What is this? I think they're 16 mil. Looks so like it. Yeah. Aluminum bodies. Definitely a, a big bore shock. Oh, excuse me, sh uh, big bore shock there. I was kind of surprised that they didn't do shock boots though. Oh, around the yeah, the shock shaft. Yeah. Off. Yeah, this kit seems like they are trying to make it either you know you can kind of go different ways. You can make it a race kit, race truck. You can make it a basher. You can make it you know maybe a stunt truck or whatever. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, but if you're outdoors on that. Loose, dusty stuff. Shock boots are always nice. Yeah, so here, here are all the bulkheads, steering arms. Um, they, they've actually uh, revised the steering arms, right? Uh, oh, since okay. the, the first Pro MT, um, you know, bigger pillow ball, or mm -hmm. you know, longer pill, uh, threads on the pillow balls and, and revised front suspension. I'm gonna, I probably couldn't be able to, I, I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference here unless I, you know. Is this a I'm, first gen uh, MT? That yeah, so we had an early production run. Actually, you can see the the serial number there is. Ooh. We have number yeah thirteen seventy five. So it was um, you know in the in the first batch. Yep. Thanks. I I wonder what the serial number is on this. I don't, I don't even know where they put that. Oh, here we go. This is number three thousand two hundred twenty seven. So whatever that yeah. means. <laughs> so Definitely a later run. Sale, right? They're they're going for three hundred now. Is that right? Uh, I'm not sure on the exact okay. pricing, but yeah, I, I believe that they have. I think they were like four hundred originally, and then mm -hmm. um, this year they just dropped the price. Uh, definitely uh, competitive now. At four hundred, a little bit expensive, but um, at three hundred seems like a pretty good value. That is, like yeah, high, high quality kit. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it, how much is the SET 410.3 nowadays? Is That's it... 399 normally. Uh, okay. 369 is usually what it's selling for because it's been out for a few years. But, mm. um, yeah, so a little bit more than this, but, um, yeah, you can, they're definitely like main competitors. Mm hmm. Um, kind of that high end, high quality, uh, race kit or, you know, sort of. People use them for both, I guess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, there are the, the gaskets for the diffs. It's got square oh. diffs. Um, oh, square diffs. Yeah. So really? We, we actually have uh, this over oh, here, Razor. Oh, that's that, neat. What the heck? That's an upgraded and aluminum version from Kraken RC. Oops. Uh, oh, no worries. Take so the, 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 uh, the stock diffs are plastic and... These are the uh, upgrade ones you purchased. Yep. Yeah. So just the 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 enclosure for the diff. I don't know if you guys can see that in the bag there, but yeah, this it's basically a plastic version, and this is the the aluminum nice. upgrade. Hmm. Yeah. So some some of the uh, the folks that that have been running big power have yeah. had problems with uh, you know the the diff cases holding up. Mainly, flexing I think the center one. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Flexing and. Anyways, some goodies, some cracking that will be going onto this truck. Here's the uh, the mainstay here, the chassis. You want to take a look at this that? This is thick. I'm not used to like these three millimeter. This might even is that three and a half? I don't know. It's a very heavy, thick chassis. Nice single bend up front. Uh, low kick up. Um, yeah, I guess there's no. Uh, some of them sometimes have like a plastic side. I think some of the technos and stuff, but this is all single. Aluminum chassis piece. Yeah, so they they have the the kind of side mud guards mm -hmm. on the side, the tall yep. side guards, tall side guards, Get the dirt out, yeah, extra rigid. Yeah, and it's, I think it's bi metal. So oh, yeah, you can actually see the channel here. Okay. So I think it's aluminum, and then they have a steel like insert. insert. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure where. It's probably in one of these. Bend oh, there it is. And as much. Yep. That's pretty cool. So there's a steel insert that goes down. Definitely a heavy duty truck. Uh, and does it, do you know if it's designed for 3S and 4S mainly? Or I guess you could run 2S if you wanted, but. 3S and 4S, yep. Um, that uh, That is our eventual goal with this truck is 4S. <laughs> More power. Yeah, we uh, we ran 3S in our Pro MT and, you know, and, and 2S. 2S is just, yeah, way oh, too slow. Like, yeah. Way too slow. Uh, you know, I think 3S, um, you know, we've run 3S. We haven't tried 4S in this yet. Um, just still, um, you know, still still uh, stepping up to that. <laughs> what, what kind of, do you have a power system ready for it yet? Or are you uh, looking um, at some stuff? That is a good, so we were thinking probably something similar to this. So in the Pro MT, uh, this is a, a, I think a 4072. Okay. Or, yeah, I think it's a 4072. Brushless motor from Hobby Wing. Mm. Um, this is the uh, the uh, what was it called? The WPSC T. Mm. So um, you know, four S capable. So two to four S oh, nice. ESC. Yeah, um, not that expensive either, right? Like, yeah, like eighty bucks or something. Some in, in that price range. Yeah. I think this has been replaced by the Max Eight. Okay. Or the Max Ten SET. So kind of the other eighth scale. Right? I guess this is pretty much like an eighth scale. Uh, type platform, like almost like an ace scale buggy or a uh, short course truck style thing that you just got the beefy disc, the beefy drivetrain. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the space to put a decent size ESC in the can, the thick chassis. So, mm -hmm. pretty cool. I, I haven't had an ace scale buggy or anything, but this seems like it <laughs> should be able to take a beating. <laughs> <laughs> Even for uh, racing dealer. <laughs> Even for us, yes, we put everything through the ringer here and uh, usually don't have too many operational RCs at once. But uh, anyways, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks again to our, our guest here, Razor RC. Check out his channel. We'll include a link in the, the video description, and we'll catch you next time.